Hello to you as well. So um, now I have some fantastic people around me. Um, Gary Treadway, Jim Morris. So um, it made the transition easier. Plus, the guys that I played with, I had great respect for them and they had great respect for me. And uh, they knew the job had to be done and um, the winning formula was there. So uh, it was just sort of like uh, keep the ship steady yeah. on we go. What about going away from it? I mean, that was incredibly hard, wasn't it? It was. It was one of those things where the new facility hadn't been built at Albert and then there wasn't enough room, obviously, to, to have two clubs training on one ground. So um, it was harder, particularly for the guys that had been at Port Adelaide their whole career. They won premierships, they'd, um, they'd been you know, the star players, and all of a sudden you're at a suburban club, there's, there's no fence around the oval, so there's, you know, there's people walking their dogs as you're training. I remember, I remember actually one, one night, uh, Mark Clayton got cleaned up by a Paul Terry and just <laughs> screaming across the, uh, the oval while we're doing a drill. So, um, but to the credit of the board, um, in particular guys like Kenny McLean, the uh, Warren Rogers, um, they really got in there and um, the facilities were almost sort of like mirrored what we had at Albert and we had the big bath, that was, that was there, the lockers were there and it was actually a newer version of what was under the old standard at Albert and so uh, although we got moved away and it wasn't ideal, um, we were given the best facilities that you could probably have and better than most SRFL clubs had anyway so uh, the club did the bar for us in that regard. To Greg and Jack, I'll throw this to both of you because we were known always as a tough, uncompromising football club, which is why we got the success. But there came a time when we went into the AFL. You had to say to a lot of our players that have been great servants, that had won the premierships. I'm talking, and it's probably unfair to name people, but I think Tim Ginnam and George Fiarch and Roger and Aaron Smith, Rowan Smith, there were lots of them. You had to eyeball them and tell them they wouldn't be a part of the AFL. They must have been hard times. Yeah, that wasn't easy, but sometimes it has to be said. It's like if a player doesn't train hard enough, we would say to him, look, you have to lift the tempo. If you don't do that, you go to another club and prove you wrong. So we did that. I've had players cry, you know, when you said, look, you can't be at the club anymore. You, I don't see you fitting in the team. Um, so that's really hard. But I love the players. I love every coaching session I had there. Um, used to love training. Didn't matter whether it was wet or dry. I loved every bit of it. Um, Stephen, the number of players I've spoken to over the years, and you sort of you ask, why was Jack so good? Why did he win 10 premierships? And the same answer comes up that he, he made every player believe that they were the best player he'd ever seen. Is that, is that accurate? He was, he, was, uh, he was terrific at that. Um, the ability to uh, make guys feel really comfortable. And you know, we, we started to learn a lot more about this, and I've learned a lot from Jenny just about the psychology of football and, uh, and how uh, to get the best out of people. And, um, Jack was as good as anybody and probably still would be today just at making you feel really good about yourself and we had a lot of guys on our side that, uh, you know, they were leaders but um, with the uh, faith that Jack showed in them uh, and the way that we played our footy, it was just uh, a really strong team that went out there week in, week out and, um, you know, we got the results because uh, we knew that Jack believed in us and, uh, you know, it's just a fantastic thing to have. Not a lot of people have that ability but, uh, you know, Tim Penrish has said we speak for itself. Great, just finally to you. Um, we went in the AFL 97 within a short space of time, I think twice at minor premiers, and then in 04, we won a premiership. That's an amazing prize in such a short space of time. Is that what you're most proud of? Uh, thanks to Mark and the players and all the people around the club, the most exciting day of my life. It's uh, just outstanding. And to our members, you know, I, I can still look at the faces of people. Everyone we saw after that victory in 204, I enjoyed a lot that Jack Cap brought to us as a round the board table, but uh, being the first one in the AFL, uh, the only downside is I've got a 12 year old grandson and he didn't see it. I want to see him see another one when I don't have a guest all. But uh, 204, fantastic. Please thank our very special guest, John Powell, Greg Bob, and Stephen Williams. Very good, man.